had an accident. I was working on construction. Yes. And two by fours hit my head. Yes. And probably hit my temples as well. And then uh, it was uh, that accident happened on maybe between one o'clock or three o'clock. Yes. And the next day, I wake up with pain and uncomfortable, uh, different. My face swollen. Yeah. And. Nobody thought to take you to the hospital. Didn't go to the hospital that day. Uh, I went to the I went to the clinic. Yes. Or hospital, but they told me that I'm I don't have nothing. No imaging no. was taken. No. Okay. They no gave me pills no. for uh, pain. Right. But they don't. I take pills for three years, and but the problem or the issue is still here, and the, the if I take pills or medicine, it, the pain never goes away. It just okay. always. So we've talked about earlier a little bit. You you said. Even just r raising your shoulders yeah. is difficult. Yes. And um, we looked at your eyes a little bit. Show me, go ahead and show me one more time. Try to look down for me. You know, a little bit difficulty looking down. Um, and the fate on your face, there's, you said that on the left cheek, is that right? Yes. There's yes. the sensation the yeah. on the left cheek. How, when did that start the most? Did that start right after, the day after, or how? Uh, it, it went as the time goes by, I feel it gets worse. Mm -hmm. the, 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 uh, in the beginning, it was uh, it was normal. Yes. But that when that when time it was by. Yes. It it goes. How the case drop? How to say dropping or losing? Yes. How mm. how long? How quickly? Months or did it take a year? How quickly did you notice the f the sensation on your face? Oh, uh, a month. Like a couple months, yes. you noticed that this was getting less and less feeling. Yes. Yes. Okay. And when you showed me earlier difficulty moving your tongue, and you said it was painful. Yeah. When did that start? Did that start same time as the, the same face? Time, yeah, the same right the, the next day. Yeah, or very soon after. Yeah, yeah, very soon. I, I, I feel, I feel it right, right away. The difficult difference. to move yeah. to your yes. tongue. Yeah, and even difficulty breathing through your nose. Yeah, even, yeah, and that 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 has gotten worse, or was it right after? No, it went right, at, at, at right after yes, it was difficulty uh -huh, breathing. Yes. Now, when you up at where your home is, did when did you go to the doctor again and tell them that or? No, I just went. Ho I went home, yes. and then take me a couple of days to to find out because my daughters and and my ex-wife was telling me that I always look angry and angry. And I had to tell them, you know, I'm not angry. Yes. Even my daughters was caring on me because it's like you. Why are you angry all the time? I was like, no, I'm not angry. It's just I had no expression. This is these are injuries. Yeah. This is an injury yeah. to your brain. Um, the the brain controls the. Well, there's, there's nerves that come out of your middle brain called your cranial nerves, and a few of the things that you're talking about, one, the sensation of your face is the fifth cranial nerve. Uh, there's called trigeminal nerve. There are three branches, and the sensation of your face is a nerve that comes out of your middle brain. Okay. That injury that you had to your head has damaged the nerve that goes yeah. to your face. The seventh cranial nerve called facial nerve is the facial expression. And I, I know you have said you have difficulty, people think you look angry because yeah. the muscles that move your muscles on your face for expression, um, they're, they're getting weaker yeah. because of that injury or lesion to the, to the middle brain where the nerves exit the middle part of your brain stem. And you said also the sensation on your tongue is different, yeah. is yeah. changed? Yeah, I cannot feel the taste of, of food. And if I try to drink water, I, I, I can't because it goes the wrong way, I guess. Yes. and. Wow, and how is difficult? Show me swallowing. Can you swallow? Is just difficult. Mm -hmm. it, it hurts. Hurts to yeah, swallow because the tongue is already so uh, back. It's so uh, so, uh, yeah, so it, it's back, retracted yeah. back. Yeah, and the more I speak, it gets worse. It fall, fall, drops back. Uh -huh. And I just and that's I, how I started to get conscious. I don't understand. You said one of the, one of the things you said earlier that was just surprising me is that your family is not understanding of your injury. Can you do you do you know? Why? Why don't they understand? What can you? It's just hard to know why they're not understanding. It's just, yeah, it's just hard to know. I just all I know, they they make fun of me because my son, five years old, he that's he told me about it. I understand, but like, why? You, I have people that have. I had a person that had a skiing injury and is paralyzed, and you know, I don't. These are injury. This is an injury that yeah. can happen to anybody. Yeah. Yes, you understand. But, we, yeah. you work. Things happen. I have people who have car accidents that their lives are changed. But we need to be understanding they, of Well, I mean, they say because I was, my last, my last time my daughter told me that they leave me because I look angry all the time. I don't look happy. Do you, 
to say that I actually was scared because I look angry all the time. So it's really affected your yeah. quality of yeah, life. Yeah, my life, everything. Yes. So do, do they not know that this is connected with a head injury? Do they don't understand this? Uh, the family or the your family, your family. Uh, no, they don't. They they think it's just you angry, it, yeah, yeah, and not an injury. Uh-huh. Okay. I don't know how much is damaged from the motor cortex or from nerve pressure. So all I can really do is go through your spine and see how your body improves with cleaning your spine, meaning getting some of the interference. You're fine. You're fine. Mm-hmm. You're fine. So so there's interference, or let's say inflammation of your spine can affect the ability to move your body. The weakness in your hamstrings, for instance. Uh, yeah, I, had no, I feel like I had no emotion on my body. Right. <laughs> well, let's just pick your ham, hamstrings. You're saying your muscles in the hamstrings feel weaker. Um, uh, yeah. The, the weakness in your hamstrings can come from a damage to your brain. So the, the nerve that comes out of your brain from your motor cortex goes down your spinal cord and it forms the sciatic nerve, which innervates the nerve that goes to your, it, that goes to your muscles. So you can have damage to your brain and have atrophy or weakness of the hamstring. Or it can be what I see more commonly, which is nerve pressure in the back, which is much easier to fix. Take the pressure off the lower back, Mm -hmm. and then that will help the muscle in the hamstring get stronger. Just just surprising a little bit, Mm -hmm. right? Can you feel? Yes, yes. But can you show me show me pointing your toes? Can you can you come up? Can you watch me for a second? Can you, can you come, like holding on the table, can you come up onto your toes? Or is that too difficult? Uh, yeah, too difficult. Again. Too difficult. Uh-huh. Okay. The sciatic nerve controls the motor to your calf. And so because there, there's, we have weakness and atrophy of your uh-huh. hamstring, the gastroc muscle on your back part of your calf controls coming up onto your toes. So let me have you sit for me again. Okay. I want to check the reflex of the Achilles. He's, the reflex is, so what the reflex tells me is that, see his leg point in there? So the wire that goes from your leg into your spinal cord, so what that does is this doesn't involve your brain. What reflexes do is they go into your spinal cord and then activate the sensory nerve. You're stretching out the muscle, and by stretching the muscle, there's a sort of a protective uh, part of your spinal cord which prevents the muscle from tearing, so it contracts as a reflex. Okay. So... The, what the reflex is working properly, but it almost, I'd almost say it's almost too much. When I hit this, it's almost like exaggerated. What this does tell me is that there's no injury to the nerve in your, you know, saying the nerve's actually hooked up. Yeah. Now, you can still have some level of atrophy, pain yeah. from your spinal cord, yeah. but I'm, I'm curious, you know, how much of this might be involved also with the with the brain injury. Yeah, You're saying the, the head injury. Yeah. That's what that's the part I worry about. It. So what happens with the brain is that when you have an injury to your skull, the bleeding cuts off some of the blood flow to certain sections of your brain. Your middle brain, your cerebral cortex, and your brain is very minute by minute dependent on blood. And when, so when you have an injury, as those blood vessels heal, part of the brain might not be getting what it needs to function properly. And so that part of your brain you know, can die, mm-hmm. which then either we have to create another part of your brain to pick up for that slack, or this is where th- people go to physical therapy or rehab. This is this is a major life changing trauma that you've endured, and yeah, big, a big weaker <laughs> a weaker person wouldn't still be here. Okay, you are a strong individual yeah. for it t- dealing. It took me two years to to go back on my feet. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I think and many people yeah, would. Many people would. You are you are an overcomer. Let me start with your back. Bend both. Yeah, I'm gonna help you. All right, keep the feet right there. You okay? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Take one deep breath in, as best you can. Head back. Exhale. Right, deep breath in. Exhale. All right, deep breath in. Exhale. All right. Let me give you my assessment. So, how did that feel? Good. Yeah. Yeah. It was. There was a lot of restriction in there. Okay. A lot so of, like tight. A lot of stiffness. Uh-huh. So there are twelve vertebrae that I asked to move, and I don't need them to click, but I need to feel softness. There was a lot of protection uh-huh. and rigidity in there, and when that area gets bound down and so stiff, your lower back has to make up for that and compensate. Yes. Okay. And 
that affects everything in your life. Yeah, that's when I start. I have, I have time. I mean, I have, I have half time. Yes, moving. Moving, yeah. Such as I look like a robot. <laughs> well, your brain has injury. You have your spinal column is inflamed, and the tissue in your leg has weakened. Yes. So we have to try to rejuvenate your body. Bottom leg straight. There we go. I got you. You just relax. It's okay. I'm going too hard, you let me know, okay? No, yeah, yeah. All right. You can put your hands right there, you're good. It's okay. All right, breathe. I got you. I got you. Mm -hmm. I got you. I got you. Good, other side, I got you. You're not gonna fall, I promise. No. I will not let you <laughs> fall. I have you. There you go. I got you, you're not gonna fall. Good. All right, let's go on your back. Was there pain when I did that? No. <laughs> Feels good. Feels good. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. All right. There shouldn't be. But what can happen is when you move a joint that mm -hmm. hasn't been moving in a while, it can be upset. Uh, joints get frozen when they don't move. And when you unlock a joint that hasn't been moving, yes. there can be dis some discomfort. Your masseter muscle has atrophied. Atrophy. So atrophy means shrunk. The the muscle here, uh -huh. your your mat, the chewing muscle uh -huh. called the masseter, okay, is shrunk. It's gotten smaller. Uh -huh. And when I eat, all these things like goes right. So they call the, there's other zygomatic muscles in here, mm -hmm. and they're not because the the muscles of mastication we call it are the is the fifth cranial nerve. So the same nerve that gives you that sensation on your face. Mm -hmm gives the control to the muscles that chew. Okay, so they're both, the trigeminal nerve comes out around your angle of the jaw and most likely it's injured where it connects with the middle brain or the mm -hmm. middle brain is injured and then that the nerve forms off of that and that injury is what's causing difficulty yeah. in chewing. The, the jaw, I feel like I went, it drop back? Yes. Because it's not like... You can't push it forward. No, no, it's like... Back. It's retracted. Yeah, and it looks funny. I understand. So, <laughs> yeah. well, that's all that has to do with the yeah. muscles of chewing. So, your mm -hmm. movement of your jaw is controlled by the fifth cranial nerve. So, we have a lesion, an injury to your cranial nerve. And I am just amazed that I have to be the one to explain this. <laughs> Somebody, a neurologist, should have already, in the last five years, gone through with you and explained to you each cranial nerve. You have 12 cranial nerves. So your tongue is, the motor for your tongue is the 12th cranial nerve, okay? Called hypoglossal. And the hypoglossal nerve isn't functioning, which is why your tongue is drawing back and you can't mm -hmm. point your tongue out, the motor of your tongue. So we have an injury to the 12th cranial nerve. We have an injury to the 11th cranial nerve called the spinal accessory nerve. And that lifts your shoulders up. And so weakness, inability to lift your shoulders, um, you said even earlier, you said your digestion has been affected. Yes. That has to do with your vagus nerve and the uh, parasympathetic system, which controls your digestion. So we have multiple, the sensation of your tongue. The You said your hearing has been okay, right? Yeah, you said, yeah. So that's the eighth cranial nerve. Um, seven is your facial nerve. So facial expression. Exhale, there you go. What do you feel? I feel awesome. Feel I'm gonna try to loosen up that left side. Uh, uh, the third time I went to it was uh, it was on Sunday. It was between three and five because okay. I don't remember what time. And then he, as soon as he saw me, he he trained me with his attitude. I mean, bad attitude. I'm sorry. I mean, he's like, "Why, why are you here? You look okay." Wow. I mean, you, you don't. There's nothing wrong with you. Oh. You've been here so many times, and you just keep coming in. Right, because I'm I have a problem. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm here for help. Yes. I have injury. Yeah, and, and I told I told him, yeah, I come here, I come here for ask for help, doctor, because I have issues on my face. It, right. it hurts, it bothers me. To move my yeah. tongue. Uh -huh. I have difficulty moving my eyebrows and moving my. I have to really concentrate. Yeah, hard I, I say that. I explain to him all that stuff, and he's like, "You okay? You just, I'm gonna send you on your way with some pills." Wow. Okay. And wow. I say, "Okay, thank you," and I just walk away. I didn't even take the pills.
and then about this thing they just, they just keep telling me go to this place I go to that place and from there they send me back to that place and and I just when you say that place in like a neurologist or what? Uh, like a uh, dentist so the why do they send you to a dentist because that's cause what the uh, lady told me from the hospital and the doctors tell you to go to dentist yes and the front from the dentist that's how I found out that he told me but then no, but no explanation for why no just no go home and take yes yeah. I think they're gonna send me to neurologist no, next week okay. yeah so they we need we need further tests the job of the neurologist to help localize and figure out what part of your brain has been damaged the first time or the second time I went to the hospital uh, they told they told me to go to the uh, I don't know what's the word for, like talk to the doc. I'm uh, not a doctor, but chiropractor. No chiropractor. Physical no. therapist. Uh huh. Like people, you think is you're crazy or something? Psychologist. Uh -huh. so, uh -huh. What did he say? He told me, you know what? The way you're speaking to me and the way you act, you just asking for help. Right. There's nothing wrong with you. You just want to get your problem fixed. So there's nothing wrong with you, but you want your problem. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's like <laughs> That's a contradiction. <laughs> yeah. So you just there is told me you just need you just need help. There's nothing psychologically wrong with you. You have a physical injury that needs treatment, and it's not a psychological problem. This is a there's a physical. You have, you, this all stemmed from two by fours hitting your head, about yeah. about knocking you out, right? Yeah. I mean, just about could have killed you. Yeah. And what happens is when you're when you get hit in the head, your brain bounces inside your skull and the brain can we call them contusions and, and countertusions where the brain actually bruises on the inside of the skull and in a the brain is very greedy it needs constant yeah. oxygen since the, uh, the, the that that thing happens i feel my 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 how to say my my head on yes. my brain really tight all the time the muscles uh, on the head uh, yeah right all this right here i feel like really tight right like just like so that's this has to do this this is spasticity. This is all due to the, the damage to what we call the central nervous system. Your brain and spinal cord are your central okay, nervous there system. You, go. you are this is you are as about as far as any patient in my office <coughs> that is okay. You understand this is about as far as can be from being okay. You have significant injuries and <coughs> this is scary that no one is properly treating you and helping helping you understand what the problem is, the diagnosis of where the level and extent of injury that's happened to you, and what options are available. And the reason I, I had all these problems is because I want, I, I let, I let, I don't want to focus too much on my face, yes. so I, I, I start to do a lot of exercise. Right. And I wanted to be a, a better person yes. on my own, like I want to work on my body and make it look stronger or or good. I am a Bruce Lee fan. Sure, sure. And that's what I wanted to go for. But I was doing exercise and that was I got an accident. And that was the year and a half ago, right? Yes. The one that happened with the elbows? Yes, yes. So instead of being, you know, being sad, I just want to keep my mind sure you busy. Yeah. If you don't keep moving, yes. then we, we'll st we, our body shuts yeah. down. This one is, I feel like it goes like the drought. The shoulder. Uh -huh. It goes like back, and then I feel like uh, there's no. It hurts from here. Yes. To, uh, All the way, way up to the shoulder. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. All right. Let me have you go face down. I, I bought a, a, a rubber from Amazon. Yes. The one you guys use. You and you Good. Sister, yeah, I bought it from Amazon. Okay. Sixty-five dollars. Gotcha. And sometimes I put it on the floor. And how do you say I? You send stretch. Uh -huh. Stretch. Yes. The roller is a, is a very good is a massage tool to me. It's used to help soften your spine, and it's not super powerful, so it's hard to hurt yourself on the roller as it might be with a with a more intense orthotic called like a dental roll. Mm -hmm. But what we're trying to do is balance your spine. So some level of nerve pressure is happening in your lower back because of that tightness that we talked about earlier yes. in your middle back which is what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to soften your chest a little bit. So we're going to try to adjust this again and see if we can get some improved mobility in your middle back, which can take some stress yes. off the areas that are, that are damaged. So I can't even work 
It's a right now I'm behind you on my child support. Sure. So that little money that I make, I have to save it to pay. Like right now, I had to work hard for for about a month. Yes. And I was my, I I forced my my body or myself to work, but it is it's painful. Let's clean your back out a little bit. Let's get your back moving. I'm, I can help you with these. This is, you know, cleaning your spine is what I do for a living. Yes. You know, and getting people's, get take some pressure off the lower back. And this one, the, about the shoulders, yes. the shoulders, it take, I was feel, I was feeling weird myself. Yes. I was like, what, 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 how to say, what on the world happened to me? <laughs> right, yeah. So I had my son, I, say, I had my son, I say, Bruce, can you take a picture from me? Yes. Just, you know, from my back, and that's yes. how I found out. Yeah, this right here, I, this yeah, is, this, one, yeah, that one, yeah. This is the problem. Uh -huh. On the right side, it's, war, it's way higher. He's got a large injury on his right side here. Try to see if we can clean this out. Right there. This affects the health of your lower back. Yeah. This part is all locked up. The lower back has to address it and, and compensate. Yeah, we call it neuropathic pain. There is some level of nerve damage that's affecting the functionality of your body. Yeah. And I can't move my tongue properly, I can't breathe in properly, I can't shrug my shoulders properly, I can't stand and come up onto my toes properly, and... It's just hard, and when I go out, like I used to be go out, but I can see people, you know, they, I mean, they look at me like really, <laughs> I don't know how to explain. Judgment. Uh-huh, yeah, that's what, yeah, <laughs> my daughter, she, she, uh, she, she knows how the people they just me. She's like, okay, Dad, I know what you're talking about. I see people how they look at you. So whenever I need something or I need to go out, I I call my daughter. Can you please come with me? I'm sorry. This is this is really rough. Yeah. This is. I say you just go be you. Let people. You're fine. Just ignore the people. Shrug it off. Yep. Yep. Yeah. But see, your life. but but if I go, I, I if I go, I just I don't feel comfortable. I understand. Right. I don't feel, uh, you feel happy. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah. yeah. so I just I feel better if I just stay in my room yeah. <laughs> by myself. Just well, maybe having some validation from a doctor. So what Ed has found should I hopefully validate what you're going through, and then you need to just you need to get to a neurologist who can validate it in that way. Maybe that will help with some of the healing. The muscle right here? Yes, sir. It was, went, went to the knee. Yes. I don't know what, what, what do you call that? So that? I, well, the muscle's hamstring called biceps femoris, uh -huh. uh, semitendinosus, semimembranosus. So the hamstring is three muscles on the back of the thigh. It's controlled all by the sciatic nerve. So the sciatic nerve pressure is causing either pain, mm -hmm. dysfunction, spasms, you know, it's like a, a unclear signal between the brain and the body. Yeah. So when I when I sit, like if I want to dry, yes, dry or sit anywhere, yes, it hurts right here. Gotcha. Really bad. In the center. Yeah, really bad. I cannot sit. <laughs> yeah, this is all. Feel that right there. It's yeah, all, yeah, all really tight, isn't it? Injury, scar tissue. That's all I've got to get cleaned out of here. We can't have interference. Yeah. Say that again. They take your blood? Yeah. Uh-huh. And they don't find anything? No. They, they, first, they tell me maybe I had a, uh, a, how to say, like a diabetes or, you diabetes. know, whatever, uh, diabetes, sure. whatever, or maybe infection. Right. So I'm clean. Right. And I know I'm clean because I, have to do, I haven't done anything. I understand. We call it diabet diabetic neuropathy, so you can have diabetes and that cause nerve symptoms. But, uh -huh. but yeah, but I don't have no diabetes. I, I don't you. have nothing. I didn't want to my mom see my face. Yes, I understand. 
because I know she was gonna get sad and cry. Oh so one day I decided to, okay, you know, let's talk and I wanna let you see me. Oh. She started crying right away. Oh. She's like, why in the world the doctors gonna fix you up there? You and you, uh, you was like, what do you mean they cannot see us? Like, I can see it. When I, when I rub right here, you said you felt it down yeah. here? Yeah. Uh -huh. So this is what I mean by nerve pressure, that the nerve inflammation in this area it shouldn't hurt. You shouldn't feel anything in your leg when I rub uh -huh. this area. It should just feel pressure. But if there's damage or I, inflammation yeah. in here, that causes a, a, an incorrect signal and not a clear signal to be sent to the muscle. And yeah. so the muscle starts acting in an incorrect way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when I stand to, when I stand up, how do you say when I stay stay up? When you're standing up. When I'm standing up. Yes. For eight hours, ten hours. Yes. Sometimes I feel like. From, from here, yes. all the way to, to my feet, yes. like a, en what is it, like a, the blood or, or energy, whatever. Yes. It just, it goes really slow. Like a, like a, almost like a nervy. Uh -huh, yeah, like I feel like, like I, it's pain. dying or something. Right. Right, that's pressure on your lower back. So there's, there's disc injury. Uh -huh. So on top of having injury to your brain, we have nerve injury disc joint injury mm -hmm. that's affecting the nerves here when you're up all day uh -huh. this area gets compressed yes and so what i'm trying to do right now is clean the areas around this area where the sciatic nerve forms mm -hmm. the sciatic nerve forms off of l4 through s3 the nerves that come off the sacrum are fused the movable segments are in the lumbar this is where the nerve pressure can happen because of disc injury so so cleaning you're fine you're fine so cleaning this area, taking stress off the lower back uh -huh. can make the nerve happier and make it not be so e easily aggravated. So this is the inflammation around the sciatic nerve. And where I come from, from Bloomington, Indianapolis, I've been, I've been, I have been all over the place uh, yes. with car practice, yes. and they don't do any of that stuff. Right, they don't clean. No, they don't even clean you nothing. Here we go, we do about 10 seconds. Here we go. Let's see if we can handle some pressure. 10, 9. Good. It hurts, but I'm not going to say anything. I you, just did want good. you did good. Yeah, I want to. <laughs> we got to clean this yeah. area. Yeah, it's just. I know, yes. No, no, just keep on. Wow, right there, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't want to complain because I don't You're want fine. you to stop. You're fine. Right there, yeah. Yep. You are very purple. Yeah, it hurts, but I like it. <laughs> Is that black 
It's like black. Mm -hmm. It's really dark. What does that mean? It's that dark. Just old, old injury. Old injury right there. Oh, in a year, bro. Yeah. This is. See, the force went to your head, yeah. but the injury also went to your neck. Really, it ended, and so this is probably when the uh -huh. so related uh -huh. to the right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's related yeah. to the. I feel like my head is just always like. Mm -hmm. Some people have smaller injuries and they don't walk anymore. My, you know, I I, I force myself. I understand. Uh, one day, I, f I, call my, I was talking to my mom, I feel like I, I couldn't kill my fingers. Yes. And she told me, just I know. try to force it, and that's what I've been doing. Your tissue needs blood flow, it needs nutrition, and it needs nerve flow. If the nerve is not connected properly to the tissue, it will atrophy. A means without, trophy mm -hmm. means nutrition. So it will shrink, it will, it will die. Does that make sense? Yes, yes. And so there's weakness is a kind of a, a beginning to atrophy. You understand there's mm -hmm. a, there, a, an unclear, it's like a light bulb that's flickering. It's not getting a strong electrical current. Yeah. We have cranial nerve involvement, spinal disc injury, yeah. and peripheral nerve injury. So he's, <laughs> you got a lottery, you've won all three. <laughs> Usually people come in with like maybe one of those, uh -huh. you know, just disc injury, yes. or maybe somebody comes in with a, elbow injury that has a nerve pressure or wrist yes. injury you know but we have three levels of injury here and so it's it's a miracle that you're here that you're <laughs> able to drive and move and you're a very strong person that, that's why my dad and my mom told me all the time you're an amazing person yeah. I'm just saying do not let anybody take that away from you <laughs> he needed that. Yeah. That was... <laughs> oh, I was hoping to have it. <laughs> that poor part of your back has not moved in a long time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go gentle. Okay. Yeah. Breathe. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm just trying to breathe. I know. It's tough. All right, we go slower. Stretch. It's okay. Too much pain? No, no. Okay. Breathe. Okay. I got you. Breathe. Yeah, there you go. Good. Put your arms down. Let your chin go up. Chin up. There you go. Good. Now relax. There we go. There it is. Yeah. Another bone that hasn't moved in a long time. Uh huh. Here we go. Tilt your head a little bit left for me. It's okay. There you go. Okay. You all right? Yes. Right. You did good. I got you. Tilt a little bit to the left for me. Uh, uh, tilt left. Uh, left. Left. So you yes. tilt your head. Other uh, way. There uh, you go. Uh, it's okay. There you go. Tilt your head left. 
Tilt your head to the right a little bit. Oh, oh, sorry, it's not moving. Alright, that side's stuck. Alright. It's okay. So you have. Right. A yeah. lot of toxins. Yeah. A lot of toxins in there. Yeah. And so all of this is causing interference. Okay? Yeah. So step one is when you get home, we have to try to. I'm looking for deep tissue massage. I'm looking for some either called fascia blasting. We'll write it down for you, but gua sha, cupping, you know, some soft tissue work to clean the spine. Then you can use the roller to keep your spine moving. We got your back moving today. Mm -hmm. Very good. I mean, it just it's, it was it was frozen in your middle back on the first adjustment. Nothing at the end. We got about four or five vertebrae to move. Okay. So we're starting down the process of getting your spine healthier, mm -hmm. and then we'll be able to know pretty quickly what can get better and then you know some things are going to be more difficult mm -hmm. to help